Mr. Huff offered me the position, I accepted it, and that was in May of 1969. And believe me, it was the best decision as far as employment was concerned I ever made. You were able to find good Christian homes for the children you were placing and infants, and also knowing that you were helping a family um, receive a child and a childless couple who, you know, had been wanting a child for years maybe, you were able to make that, their wish and their, their dream come true by working with them through this process. And then the real plus in it was when you would see that child 10, 12, 15 years later. You have to have a defined mission and you have to have a plan. And from time to time we would review what we were doing and make changes like, you know, organizing and operating a wilderness camp out in Craig. The DDM program came about under my watch. Anyone in this kind of ministry knows that nothing ever stays the same in terms of, of what you're going to be doing to help people because people are changing constantly. So when we develop those programs like emergency care, uh, we upgraded adoption care, foster care, uh, almost every segment of our ministry changed somewhat during my tenure. And the reason organizations like this need to be encouraged and, and supported is that we'll always have the need and, and there will always be a lot of people who don't have the financial wherewithal to, to hire people to do counseling for their children or their families or even provide clothing and food and a, and a shelter for them. And the home has always been available to help those in need. And a good example is a young man who came there um, prior to my uh, beginning in 69, but I was there during the time he finished high school and finished college. And he's now a master's level social worker in Roanoke Valley, and I see him occasionally. In high school, he took me around and helped me locate a, an, an, uh, a moped so I could have transportation to work. And uh, I was one of the only kids on the campus that had one. Don took an investment in me. Don helped me uh, along the way while I was in college, making sure I had what I needed financially, uh, clothing-wise. Uh, I felt like he was doing great social work. I got the best of Don Bradley. <laughs> I just see a need to work with families, to work with children, to make this a better society, to make this a better country. Uh, I used to say if we can keep one person out of uh, the penitentiary or from a life of crime or whatever, um, you know, what we've done has been worth the cost.